They coming with their dad to get some dirt. So they get some dirt. Nigga here say get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. Is it good? How you doing? It's Sunday Backyard Farmer back with another vid. Sunday Backyard Farmer here with another vid. How you guys doing on this Sunday? It's Sunday Backyard Farmer. All right, so today what I have planned is to, I have a concrete mixer that actually was blown over, believe it or not, by the wind. I set it on top of the railing um, on my back patio or back porch. I set it on top of the railing when I was pressure washing and I left it up there, but due to the high winds that we've been having recently, it actually blew that down and dumped it back on the porch that I, or the deck I pressure washed. So what I want to do is get that stuff up and, um, you know, get some of the, what I had in there. I had some kale, had a lot of stuff that really didn't do anything to be honest with you. That was the planter that I showed y'all that I waited too long to um, actually plant them, take them out the uh, seed trays and they were root bound and it stunted their growth so it never really did anything anyway. So the things that I have on the table that I had, what were they? I think I had some lettuce, had some spinach um, and something else I don't quite remember. So I want to put a couple of those in that planter and get some more dirt Put some of that and have that on the back porch somewhere hmm. so this is the problem i had i just caught myself trying to clean the porch off and well i keep saying porch i caught myself trying to clean the deck off and now i'm putting stuff back on the deck this is my problem <laughs> so we're gonna get into that I know I need to stop and pick up some soil because my compost pile has not broken down enough to prop, prop, properly utilize <laughs> um, the compost yet. So we're going to stop by the store, get some more soil, and go from there. They are. I made it back to the house. Let me show you the concrete planter that I was talking about. Oh, the wind blew down, let's see. As you can see, like I said, it was stuff that really wasn't maturing. This is going to see you see how small it is. It's roots all through here. It's another thing that wasn't really doing anything. So I'm gonna pick it up and actually start transplanting some of these. Now I think it was um, turf therapy was talking about spinach. I think it was him, I don't wanna be wrong. Um, spinach with the uh, long tap root is hard to, um, you know, transplant. So whatever you're gonna put it in, put it, put it in there first and let it grow from there. So hopefully I can get something out of these. I don't know if it's gonna die down because I haven't had luck with spinach. So I'm pretty sure he's right what he's talking about. So I'm just transplant some of these and See what happened. This is 
is also from cleaning the collard greens and destemming them. So I'm just now getting a chance to add these to my makeshift compost pile, which I'm pretty sure I'm probably doing this all wrong. Just saw a lizard. definitely need to move this soil because that's the last thing I want is ants in my garden soil as far as the one that I bought so see how far this is even broken down still really not See, that's still green. That's from last season. So this stuff still got a long way to go. I'm gonna just keep dumping stuff. And I'm gonna come out here and turn it. And yeah. The same on this side. It's a little a little something, a little something. A lot of ants. They gonna be mad at me. sugar cane in here that I bought offline that I did in my other video that I was telling y'all about. Oh, what is this? Sugar cane. I don't know if it's trying to. The roots, this system still looks the same. I don't know if y'all can see that. The root stiff system still looks the same on here. So I'm gonna put it back in the dirt after I clean the rest of this stuff out. So this is where I, um, this is where I save my coffee grounds at after I use them. So this is not new. This is all old. So I'm gonna sprinkle this. And this is starting to wake up pretty nice. These are raspberries. I think I showed y'all before how long it is, and I didn't get any type of raspberry on here at all last year. not trying to make y'all dizzy but it runs the whole length of this all the way down to here and it's starting to do a little something I'm gonna sprinkle some coffee grounds in there I'm gonna sprinkle some in here I have some old eggshells I'm not gonna just throw it all in there. I also have some eggshells that my wife usually put them to the side for me. 
but if I don't use them, <laughs> if I don't get them out the kitchen quick enough, she will throw them away, which I don't blame her. So I'm gonna just dump all of those. This one hand is kind of hard. Just get all of these out of here. That one don't want to come out, so I'm gonna leave it in there. But yeah, I'm gonna just crush these up. Some people say you're supposed to boil them. Um. You know, it's a lot of different ways they say you're supposed to prepare these before you put them in the soil. I'm not doing all that. I'm just, that just about. I'm just mixing it in the soil. And whatever happens, happens. Fine with me. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of that. So let me set this up here. Bring this tray over here. Let's start getting this stuff in. I'm looking for the that's the lettuce. It's supposed to be the spinach. I actually didn't have that much spinach come up. So that's it for this area right now. So next, I still gotta find somewhere to put all this lettuce. And I think I'm gonna use these other trays over here. So I'll show y'all those. So I think I'm gonna fill this up, the long one, and use that to try to put the rest of this lettuce in. And I also have some um, some peppers at the end, but I'm not gonna put those in there. I'm gonna put those in probably some pots. But the lettuce I think will be neat in this tray. I probably got enough to fill up both of these trays. I gotta get these strawberries out of here, but we'll see. So the old dirt and leaves that's in here, I'm gonna leave that at the bottom and let it finish breaking down. So hopefully it can feed, feed the lettuce. It's another one of those pods from last season. It's probably still got some nutrients in it. So I'm gonna leave that at the bottom. Let's get this bag. Start. Moving that out. And once again, I'm not sure how close this lead is supposed to be planted. I know, I'm trying to see when Lady Lead does hers, when she does her seeds, I know she just sprinkle them and then kind of just very lightly rake the dirt a little bit, you know, scratch the dirt over it. And um, hers seem to do pretty well. So I'm probably gonna place these pretty close together.
So this, this is how it looks so far. They look like they need to be watered. They start to dry out, but they're still in like clusters because I dropped more than one seed and they're just growing out. Instead of trying to separate them and end up killing both of them or more than I want to, I just put them in the dirt like that and we can see what happened. <laughs> I was just saying how close um, Lady Led usually plant hers, so we'll see how this go. I'll water them in in a minute and um, try to find somewhere for the rest of these. Then I'll water these in. Three of them is on this side, and the rest of this is spinach. So I water that in as well. And there go Pops. What's going on? Hey man, you know, you can get the keys to anything you want. That white one. Lettuce? Hey man, we trying to be like you, Pops. Got the lettuce in. Trying to get the lettuce down. That yeah. fell during the um the storm. Mm -hmm. So I got that up, got all that stuff out of it. Added some more garden soil. Trying to get this lettuce that I was just telling the people I planted more than one mm -hmm. in the pods. So now it's like three or four plants in one pot, but now I'm scared to try to separate them right. because of the roots. Yeah. So I just dumped them in the, dumped them in there. Yeah, they're separated. Yeah, and then I'm gonna um, utilize this last one yeah. for the rest of them. And that's about it. But y'all know when Pop said, I mean, it's almost time to eat. So we're gonna go in the house and figure out what we're eating on this Sunday. Oh, look at this. Oh. That's my baby girl. This is me. She's so teeny weeny. <laughs> hey, what's up, Reefy? What's going on? He's starting to look like a model now. Look, look at him. Starting to look like a model now. What's up, Nakiria? Hello. Let's find out. Uh oh. Love you. We got, what's this, lemonade with vodka? Yeah, what's in there? That was a joke, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen it four times already. It's a game that's a four-hour movie. I've seen 16 hours of my life watching. You spent 16 hours of your life watching Justice League? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's on now? I, I got it on HBO Max. It's on Max. HBO Max. Yeah, I don't have HBO Max. What is this, cabbage? Beer that's reduced down, so you don't have to worry about the alcohol. Go ahead, start eating. Her. 
And, yeah, I think um, I'm gonna get a can of the refrigerator. And I garnished it with um, the, the parsley, so y'all can see the greenery. Now this is the theme, the green. You got lime made, you got your little key lime. You can take your little key lime and you can put it in your All right, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious. Oh.